People were puzzled at the end of the 19th century about these fields. What were they? Because they weren't like anything Newton had. And, and they're, they're defined everywhere, unlike particles, which are always somewhere. Fields are always everywhere. And there was this, so there, it, it wasn't an empirical problem. It wasn't that Maxwell's equations were making bad predictions, but people were just puzzled. What are we even talking about? And there was this idea we need a mechanical model of the ether. So you imagine that, well, really there's some medium, like to have water waves, you gotta have water, right? It's a, it's a wave in what? In water. So people thought there must be a material medium, and then there's maybe stresses and strains in it, or somehow, vibrations in it or something like this. And so this thing was called the luminiferous ether. Luminiferous for, you know, to remind you of your Greek just means literally light bearing, right? Mm -hmm. the, oh yeah, the, the, fair. The, yeah, pharaoh is to bear, and lumen. So the luminiferous ether was supposed to be this mechanical, physical, material medium that these electromagnetic waves were waves in. 